All right, we gotta keep fleeing. So this is a thing. We're just gonna observe it from a safe distance, but it's a little concerning that there's a giant cavernous whirlpool in our future. Ah, uh, yes. Tropius. Tropius? I've never known. I think I call it both. Like tropical, so you'd think tropius, but I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. Now they're not going to be as heavy as the Alga, but I have to imagine they're still quite heavy. We might also be killing it with poison. If this doesn't do it, then he'll probably go first and... Yeah, I think the poison's gonna kill him before he can come down. Yeah. <laughs> Tropius jumps up into the air, ready for an attack, but as he gets to maximum height, he just topples forward unconscious. It's really a sad scene when you think about it. Everything about surfing's gonna be a sad scene. He shouldn't be on the water, I don't know how he exists. Dialga also raises a lot of questions. We talked earlier about how it wouldn't make much sense for us to surf on him. Well, all these wild ones don't make sense either. They should be on the bottom of the ocean floor. But it's fine. You don't always understand the way the world works. You just do your best to make your way through it. Also, it's probably about time to switch out Dialga. I mean... We'll keep using it, but... Where's everybody else at? Oh no, everyone is 26. Look at the balance. Look at the balance. Still, we know what we have to do. And that's get Alakazam experience so we don't have to put him out front. And I mean, it's a fighting type. So why wouldn't we? Sure, Typhlosion has Luster Purge, but that's not really what he's about. Huh. Well, they put a stop to that plan right quick, didn't they? I'm still gonna go for it. We resist both uh, types that Galley would have stab in. This will do neutral damage, but it'll still do a lot of damage because it's Alakazam. Oh, you hate to see that type of thing happen. I don't know what ability he just gave us, but it's not likely to be worse than no guard, so... Bye. Mm. Juicy. Not quite enough to level, though, because even Alakazam has slowed down a bit. He almost had to. He was going too fast. A big Pokemon beneath the World Islands. I wonder what it could be. We're going to ignore that guy for now. We're going to go this way. <laughs> this big, beefy guy. <laughs> I've seen this strategy somewhere before. Oh. The wild Pokemon effect kicks in and he uses the same move twice for no reason. Not that we're petrified of bounce or anything, just a little bit annoying. It's got like a 30% paralysis chance, I think. Anyways, as we go by these places, we see caves, we see whirlpools, we see all sorts of cool stuff, but we're really only interested in Cyan Wood right now. It also turns out that Olivine is not our next gym, which is kind of weird. Not the only time in the series they do a little bait and switch like that, but we actually have another gym battle coming up before that as we go out looking for this medicine. That's doing one-fourth damage, so we're not that worried about it. I'll have to admit, though, I didn't think we'd be getting this much mileage out of Poison Fang, but... Here we are. Oh. Mm. 
Man, we are encountering a lot of stuff. <laughs> Makes me wonder, is... What is it? Sniper? Whatever that... Whatever... We have that critical up thing. Does it also increase encounter rate? <laughs> this is either really unlucky, or the surf rate is higher than I remember, or it's increasing the encounter rate. Also, this, this Tropius is very beefy. Hmm. Well, it doesn't matter, because if that is what's happening, we're about to switch Dialga out of the first spot anyways. But I'm going to have to find that out. <laughs> Let's go find out. Uh. I do still like that cry. Uh, super luck. Right, sniper is the one that like does more damage with critical hit moves. Okay, I'm looking up real quick. Why? While we wait for this to load. No, it has no no effect. Okay. I thought maybe, but no. While we're here, we might as well put Flash Cannon up in that first spot. That's our go-to. Uh, so we're seeing Dialgas and Tropiuses. So this is a decent time for Typhlosion. Fire will at least be doing neutral in those spots, if not super effective. And we do like Typhlosion. Dusk Noir. Well, we murdered the last one, but I can't imagine this getting one shot by a Typhlosion. Well, <laughs> critical hit tried its best. What just happened? <laughs> it used Shadow Claw, but it didn't, and I even thought to myself, oh, it stole a stab move. Oh, is that just the move that like picks it up and now he can use it? I think I see. Mimic's not one of those things you uh, find out about all that often. Let's just see how this goes. Then we can look to switch. Put him to sleep. Yeah, not as much. <laughs> he stole it and he's like, hey, this is pretty good. We messed up. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew that we would get baited into Shadow Clawing into Mimic from a Typhlosion? <laughs> well, that's annoying. Dustin Roy, we just want to get off a, a Spore, that's all. Just one. No. No, that's wrong. There's the move I want for Umbreon. Because it sounds cool. That's the main thing for me. Kind of whispery. I'm about that. All right, so now let's try another regular type Pokeball, and then we'll upgrade. We have 20 Great Balls. We should be using them. It is double the catch rate of a Pokeball. Never mind. I don't know that this is something we're going to use, but it's always one I've kind of liked, so I figure we'll catch one. We'll see what it's about. It takes lost spirits along with it. Well, damn. Also weighs 230 pounds, which is pretty heavy for, you know, a ghost. Depending on how you think ghosts have mass in the Pokemon universe, that seems a little out of character. Also, why is this encounter rate so high? Leave me alone. Time to start murdering all these people who show up. Typhlosion, if you would, be a deer and try and discourage these things from showing up, please. I mean, it was like, what, four tiles? We made it four tiles? A polytoad. 
normally a bit concerning for us for this matchup, but in this case, uh, we'll just use it as a health siphon. Now, of course, Pawatoad is a third level evolution. It's easy to forget looking at it. It's like the alternative to uh, Polyrath. Also, ow. Water damage was serious. Which is a lesson here. I mean, this might be this might be a randomized run, but uh, you still can't afford to get lazy on tight matchups. We have a few Pokemon that have means of dealing with things that are unfavorable for them, but it doesn't mean we want to go out of our way to set those up. All right, this should be our uh, our level for Typhlosion. I think. Ultorb's not exactly beefy experience, but it should be enough for that little bit. Oh yeah. 441, 100%. Well, <laughs> very bland level, but that's okay. A level's a level. Uh, Rotom. Yeah. Umbreon seems good for that, with him being Ghost Electric and all. I'm beat. Like, tired or defeated? Oh, look who it is. You know, we haven't answered in a while. She might think we're dead, so... Oh, no, just shopping? You're not worried about our well-being? Okay. Yeah, no, that that's good. Love you, too. All right. I'm obsessed about balance, but also I want to give everybody time to shine, so... Umbreon to the front, please. Umbreon to the front. Umbreon, impress this cool swimmer's girl for me. Already in a daze, it should be easy. Well, this didn't work out so well. <laughs> it's okay, we have a solution for all the types that are involved here. <laughs> Water? Fighting? We can resist that, no problem. Also, bubble, not a problem. Level 22 Polyrath, gotta be bringing something stronger to the table than Bubble. That's, uh, that's not gonna get it. Oh, good, we impressed her. Good work, Umbreon. A sunburn is the worst. Great. Now, the other added bonus there was if Umbreon was indeed lowering encounter rate, that also helped with the, oh my god, why is everything attacking me on the water problem? So it's a win-win. Show off your Pokemon. Guy's bragging. Pokemon in this gym are really rough and tough. Mm. This guy's just here in the Pokemon Center, just chilling. You won't be able to hear you unless you somehow stop the pounding water. We have all sorts of issues going on here. We're trying to find medicine so this one gym leader will fight us. It sounds like we need Waterfall for another gym leader to fight us. And we're just like, dude, we're 10. I don't... I just saw Surfing Tropius's. I... I can't... I don't... I just want to go home. Except I don't because my mom is freaking me out right now. Yeah, we'll see what Big Tough Chuck is running now. Unlikely to be fighting types. Ooh. Okay, so he wants us to look after his Pokemon after what appears to be our rival. Beat him up. No clue what this is, but we're going to have to deposit something to find out. It 
could be anything. It could even be a Magikarp. Uh, let's go ahead and just toss Dialga in the box for now. Bye. Alright. Moment of truth. I'm in shock! Yes, very good, very good, yes. Tells us nothing, and we can't give it a nickname. What is it? Oh my God! <laughs> it's supposed to be a shuckle named Shucky, but it turns out it's a Togekiss. <laughs> the thing we were trying to get earlier—it appears that it is destiny. <laughs> Gradually recovers HP and rain. We would like to see that speed not be the stat that's down. Attack down, obviously ideal. But it's not the worst thing in the world. In a normal situation, we'd be looking to get Air Slash and do a bunch of stun lock nonsense, because it's with its ability that doubles the chance of effects happening, it becomes like 60% that they flinch, and it's a whole thing. As it stands, though, this Togekiss has no special attacks. And unlike ours, although it's hard to tell if it would have kept that, uh, that ability it had as it evolved, it doesn't have huge power. So it can't really make use of the physical side of this. Now, extreme speed is neat, and it's a move that Togekiss can actually learn, I think. Just as a priority move, it gets stabbed. Even off a bad attack stat, sometimes that's enough to finish off an opponent. But boy, everything else here is kind of iffy. That's, of course, why we can't nickname it, though. It's already got a name. It's a trainer Pokemon. It would also level quicker, because it would be like it's traded. But uh, I don't think we'll be using it because it has no moves that are any good. Which was unfortunately a risk, especially if picking one like this where you just get whatever it's got. My secret potion's a tad too strong. Alright, so we have the potion. We can take that back to Jasmine. I'm gonna go ahead and toss Togekiss in the box. I was really hoping it would have at least one viable move. I would have honestly considered bringing him along. Or her. I didn't see. Again, by default, everything was a guy at this point. I think it was a girl. Nope, it's a guy. Uh, actually, while we're here, we might as well take a look at that Dust Noir we got. No, not move. No stupid. Well, it's got a lot of stat uh, status nonsense. What's, what's the Y button? There it is. I like its animation. I like the cry. It kind of looks like a Koopa cart thing. You know, the thing that Bowser rides around in? I think there's, a, there's probably a name for it, but I don't know what it is. Uh, Swarm. Not the best ability, but attack up, special defense down is pretty good. You can see how bulky he is with those defenses. The speed, obviously a problem. Problem is he only has one attack, and that's Dark Pulse, which is a good one, but it's not Stab. No ghost moves at all. And you're like, well, grudge. Yeah, but I mean... You know what I mean. Attacks. Now, when we get to the point where we can learn old moves, we may actually have to start taking people out and seeing what they have to offer. Because we're only getting the snapshot of the four moves they happen to have at a given level. And they could have all sorts of good stuff hiding in their level one things that you don't get to see. Or just as they leveled up before they had these four moves. We'll have to see. The old mythical sea creature. You might need a special move to get past them. Yeah, it's looking that way. So we need a silver wing for this, just like we need apparently a rainbow wing for some other thing. Okay. So apparently somebody wants to give us fly. So there's HMs just flying all over the place here, no pun intended. It seems like they want us to beat the gym. And we will. But they want us to do this one first, then go back to Olivine and beat that one. Olivine? Again, I don't know. I don't know. We have a Dialga in our picture now. That's different than last time. It's also taking up quite a bit of the frame. But that's okay, Dialga. You do you. 